Each of us has our own little compartment. Um, this is a compartment for the person who's teching using the bad knee uh, The patient, just your helmet, mask bag, gloves, safety vests that are the new fad. You don't have to wear them on roads. It's my hood that I wear, which I keep next to my helmet. Boots, pants, coat um, for small fires or you know things you might just bring in a water can if you didn't know what you were going into. Mm -hmm. If we, if we have a fire, we're, we're, we go to the fire duty the only. I mean, visiting town, like water town that covers us, they do all the EMS. We're, we're, no, we're considered search and rescue, so we're the ones that go into a fire and, and try to look for people that are missing. So Jerry, what's the most exciting thing of going on a call? Uh, it's probably the adrenaline rush, and not knowing what's, what you're going to expect when you get there. It mm -hmm. could, be, could be a simple medical and you get there, and it could be a lot worse than the person actually sick. <laughs> Sweaty pants. <laughs> no, that's probably the best thing. And every day can be a different day. It's never the same routine jobs. Every day. Breathing on their own. Um, other blankets, these are just the controls for all the lights, the, the heat, the air conditioning, all that. Uh, the suction unit, um, oxygen. These are different radios that we can use to basically. Call, you have to always call a hospital before you bring someone in. Um, more stuff, gauze, whatnot, all just extra stuff. And then uh, we have, we always bring in on the call, we bring in the first in bag, which is like basically a little piece of everything in one of these cabinets in here. And we also have an oxygen bag, um, which we bring right to the patient, um, and also a defibrillator in the cabinet too.